desert when it's wet? No. Oh. I've never been in the desert. Tell you what, it is one of the best smells in the world when it rains out here. I don't want to smell it. Oh. It won't rain while I'm here though. This is Leland, Terry, Barbara, Cindy, and Barbara. We call her Barb. Yeah, Barb. We're, we're yeah, at the Superstition Wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to go on a five mile out and back, so five mile total hike. Yep. To Peralta Trail. We're gonna see Weaver's Needle. Yep, Weaver's Needle's right here. Where we're at right here, and we're gonna hike up Peralta Trail 102 all the way to Palomino Mountain. And if you look down here, this is the elevation change. We're gonna go from about 2,400 foot to 3,800 foot. Fremont, probably Fremont Saddle and back down again. Yeah. Okay. It's Friday, March 16th, and it's 11.09. And we're gonna go up through that canyon right there. Yes, and, and then Weaver's Needle will be up on the other side. Yeah, yeah. come down there now it's all burned out its cousin took the brunt of it oh. it looks like oh. <laughs> for here this is what you call a century plant and so what it does is it has there's a stalk that comes out of the middle and it grows a foot a day in later in the summer and that thing will get to be 15 20 foot high before the weight just takes it over All right, Terry, tell us what's up with this with this particular so, so cactus. This, this cactus, it, it bows to visitors in the east in the morning hours. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was planted here to show the way back to the parking lot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. How amazing is that? Looks like a rock just sitting on the ledge up there waiting to fall on us. We actually have algae here. Um, lichen, I think they lichen. are. Lichen, yeah. A lot about that. Dang, Terry. anywhere from June 15th to October 15th. But they usually arrive, I've been here enough, that they always arrive the week of July 4th. You can always hear the, the rumble of distant thunder across the valley about July 4th. And it kind of takes a few days to build up because of the high pressure that builds over Arizona in June, it gets really hot. That's our hottest, hottest time of the year. It usually gets near 120. And so that, that pressure kind of ushers in the monsoon. And uh, we usually get evening thunderstorms, just you know, just about every night. There's mm -hmm. a, there's a chance of it. A lot of dust storms. Dust storms are great. Aria. Oh. Aria. 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 A R R Y O. Oh, okay. Oh, look how they stick. Yeah. 
it just rolled right up on his foot and stayed there. <laughs> see that? See all the stickers it left? If I can get one out, I'll show it. You see it broke off because there's little, there's little barbs on the end. And once it gets in, it won't come out. See, it's just breaking off. Yeah, he says, turn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry seems to think that this is mesquite. Could it be? I can't smell anything. Ah, yeah, I guess you have to burn it to tell. Their body temp is what the air temp is. So uh -huh. a lot of times this time of year you see them out sunning in the roads and on the trails and everything and they're just one long straight line. Okay, then what do you do? Step over them? No. Leave them alone. <laughs> but they coil up, don't get near them. Mm -mm. So loving this. 
feet steeper. I'm now getting out of breath. This mountain? That one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's All the way to the left. And there. there's actually, believe it or not, there's a mailbox on the top of that mountain. And you, You've got to be kidding. I am not kidding. And you can you can put a mailbox, I mean a letter in that mailbox, and it'll get stamped. Oh. Pick it I'll bring a mail. I'll bring some. We're not going up that mountain. No. No, that's a challenging oh. trail there. Tongue out and it is that's crazy. Chewing. You can see where they've where they've taken bites out. Cows and other things. I do know cows for sure eat it. I just saw them a couple days ago up where I work. Nom, nom, nom. To my right question. There, see, sometimes people tell you trail where to go. Yeah, the, the Apaches left this here for us. Wow, and it's been there all these years. <laughs> <laughs> Less than half a mile to go, I think we so. think. Yeah, yeah. And we're really going pretty good incline now. So, this is a prickly pear blossom right here. This is, yeah. It's kind of unusual to see it this time of year. They usually come out in July or August, but you can see that it's growing new leaves, and it starts out as these, and they get really, really purple. Oh, and you so can pretty. you can pick those off when they're when they're brand new and you squeeze them and make juice out of it and jams and jellies and stuff. And you can even make prickly pear wine. No. Never done That's it. too much work. It sounds like it. Yeah. All by itself over there now? That big, that big rock mountain mm -hmm. right there? Mm-hmm. Okay. So over to the left on the ridge, it looks like someone took a fork and just carved it like down like that. Mm -hmm. That's called Apache Leap right there. That's the town of Superior right at the base of that. Apache Leap, they say it's a legend. So a professor at the University of Arizona claims he has evidence that it actually happened. There was a band of 75 to 100 Apache warriors that refused to be taken prisoner by the cavalry. And the legend goes that they all jumped off that cliff. Whoa. So it's called Apache Leap. It's never been written down as factual history.
That's neat. Go on in there, Terry. Imagine this was your front porch. Who could live there? I bet Indians used to camp out in here. No doubt. Yeah. How they they have the hooks on there see how it, uh -huh. right there almost looks like a fish hook Just around the corner, is what they all say. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is the saddle right here. There's a lot of on the trees. This was so worth it. Hi Terry, <laughs> and we're done. So I hope you enjoy this video as Weaver's Needle. It's been great. Thanks for watching.